Hi everyone! I hope you had a great weekend. Are you ready for another lesson? I hope you are. So today we will be playing a game called Name That Note. Now, if you've been watching all the YouTube lessons that Mr. Flores and I have been uploading, um, you should remember there was one lesson where I drew five lines on a piece of paper to draw the music staff and there was a treble clef and I taught you the sentence and sentence for the line notes and the word for the space notes. It's okay if you did not watch the episode um, because I'll be going over all the notes as a review anyway. So here are the materials that you need. Just blank piece of paper or just a few sheets of paper, okay? pen or a marker, a ruler or if you don't have a ruler, anything that has a straight edge. For me, it could be like a to-go menu or even like a binder or a folder that has a straight line. And these buttons. I'm using these buttons but uh, for you, you could use anything that has a round shape. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing five lines. Try to space them. Try to space them out equally. As I always say, if it's not perfect, it's, it's okay. You don't have to make it perfect because practice makes perfect. So you don't, I don't expect you to get everything perfect the first time around. So I just drew five lines. Okay, I used my marker but always you can use a pencil or pen. And then I'm going to draw a treble clef. So you make sure you always start on the second line from the bottom. Here's the first line, here's the second line. You make a circle or a spiral and gently touch or go right above the bottom line. Go all the way up, straight down, boom. Now, I'm going to give you a wrong example. What if I started here? And then went over the bottom line. Oh, and then went up and down. That's obviously wrong. You can see that. I'm gonna put an X mark on that one. What if I draw something like this? Is that big enough? No, it's not. You have to make sure the line goes above the top line and then all the way down here. But the spiral is where it's important. Starting from the second line from the bottom spiral, you see how I'm not going over this line or this line, right? The round shape stays within these lines. And then the straight line goes up and down. Piece of paper. Now this time, instead of drawing lines this way, we're going to use the portrait, the portrait uh, size. So I'm going to draw five lines this way. Okay, lines. And as always, what do you do? You draw a treble clef. Start from one, two, second line from the bottom. Draw a spiral, but we do not go past this line. Go straight up, down. Treble clef. Now, do you remember the sentence for the line notes? These are the line notes. Every. The bottom line note is every. Good. Boy. Does. Fine. Now, why are we using that sentence? Because the name of this note is E. G. B. D. F. We have to come up with a sentence that uses E. G. B. D. F to help you remember the names of the notes better. So, 
Some people say every good boy deserves fudge. Or you could even come up with your own sentence that uses E G B D F. Okay? You can get creative. And then these are called the space notes because line notes have the line going through the note in the middle. But space notes have no line going through in the middle. Now, when I draw the space notes, am I doing this? No, because then that would have two lines going through the middle. So that would not be a space note. Space note has to fit between the lines. And for the space notes, it's pretty easy because it spells face. F-A-C-E. -E. And guess what? Space notes face space face space face they rhyme again every good boy does fine space face okay i want you to take some time to try to memorize this and put that away another piece of paper we're going to just draw the five lines and treble clef. This time, we're not going to name the notes. Now we're going to really start the game. You could have this next to you uh, to as a cheat sheet, okay? Since this is a first time for everyone. Not everyone, but for some of you. So draw five lines, treble clef. Drew my new music staff with the treble clef. Okay, so this is how the game works. As always, like I said, if you need the cheat sheet, then you could have that cheat sheet in front of you. But for this video, I'm only going to show you this empty. Here we go. Do you remember what the name of this note is? It's the second line from the bottom. Now, if you remember the sentence, what do we have to say? Every good boy does fine. Which word was that? Every good. What does good start with? G. So then this note is what? G. Right. Next one. What is the name of this note? It's a space note. What do we say for the space notes? Space rhymes with face. How do we spell face? F is down here a c e so that's e what is this note it's a line note so you have to say the sentence every good boy does fine every good boy so that's b as a boy what is this note is that a line note or space note? It's a space note because it doesn't have any line going through in the middle. It's in between the lines. What does space rhyme with? Face. How do we spell face? F-A-C-E. Which one was that? F. I hope you're getting a hang of it. We're going to play a few more times. And then after this, I'm just going to lay out a lot of these buttons. Or I'm going to call them notes on this staff and have you figure it out on your own and I'll just share the answer at the very end let's practice a few more what is that it's a line note for line note we say the sentence every good boy does fine every good boy does that's a D is that a line note or space note that's a space note. So what does space rhyme with? Face. How do we spell face? F, down here, A, C, E. So that's a C. Okay, enough practice. Now I'm going to lay out these notes. And then it is your job to name them at your house Let's see. there we go if you have a piece of paper in front of you 
This is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven notes going from left to right. I'll give you uh, one minute. Ten more seconds. Okie dokie. Maybe that was not quite one minute, but let's try to figure it out. So this was number one. If you said D as a does or another word could be dog, you are correct. Very good job. Number two. If you said B as a boy, you are correct. You can clap, celebrate. Number three, that's a space note. What do we say for space note? Space rhymes with face. F-A-C-E, that's an E. If you said E, you can clap. Another space note. So we, we have to spell out face. F, that's an F. Another space note. F-A-C-E, so that's A. Line note, every good boy does fine, that's F. Bottom line note, every, so that's E. I hope most of you got this, especially if you had the cheat sheet in front of you. If you did not use the cheat sheet and got most of them right, you are so smart, you should be so proud of yourselves. I hope you choose to play this game whenever you have the time and practice drawing the treble clefs okay except for the wrong example these two are the correct examples so practice drawing the correct treble clefs and then practice drawing these notes and um, spelling out all the words to the sentence and f-a-c-e keep writing and then it'll help you memorize and finally you can play the game and test yourself Hope you had fun. Hope you use this whenever you have the time. As always, stay safe and healthy. Have a good week. Bye-bye.